Hey, this is Pat from NetNamo.com, and today we're going to try and do a little uh, how to surf the web anonymously. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a look at a browser called Tor. Um, I'll show you where it is. Not very complicated. I'll just go torproject.org. One thing you're going to want to know about Tor is that it is very slow. Uh, because your information is being bounced all over the world, um, it's it's it takes a while for it to get to your place. I mean, slow. You know, it's not it's not dial up slow. That's for sure. But it, it's definitely a little slower. So basically, what you do is you go to uh, torproject.org and download the browser, open it up, and uh, it takes you uh, where you need to go. So for example, here, if I do a Google, if I want to go to Google, uh, we'll go to google.com. Now the thing with Tor is it doesn't keep your your search history it doesn't allow for um, <clears throat> it doesn't allow for um, a lot of things actually uh, plugins and things like that it's it's you know it's pretty much surfing in anonymity so if you're if you want to go to Facebook or you want to do your banking it's probably a good place to go um, yeah so basically I'm just you know, go to the site, check it out, and uh, you know you can have. There's actually a USB uh, CD stuff that you can download to help you get uh, past um, um, censorship. You know where you are. Uh, I mean, a tour is often used by um, journalists and countries like China who you know need to sneak under the radar and uh, access uh, uncensored sites. Anyways, that's basically it. Uh, this is Tor. Helps you surf with anonymity. It is, um, like I say, slow. You're not going to be watching Netflix on this or anything like that, you know. But, uh, yeah, good luck. Enjoy. And I hope this helped you out.